All right, y'all, I got to tell you a story. I've been flying on a ranch for about three days making a promo video. Chasing horses around, flying through trees, doing all kinds of stuff with the drone. And everything has gone very smooth until this point. This morning, I was flying backwards, not paying attention as usual, and I got stuck in a tree about 35 foot up and 20 foot out from this fence. I tried to get it down, threw a rope over it, and finally decided that it was best to try to recover it unharmed, considering that it's, you know, would be about $8,000 to replace. So I called Ronnie Duesenberg in Paris, Texas, showed up with a bucket truck, and lickety split, it's done. Okay, I gotta tell y'all a story right quick. I'm at Caprock State Park helping shoot a video about the state bison herd. It's about 150 bison with a bloodline that goes all the way back to the native northern bison of the American Plains. They, a long story short, a guy named Charles Goodnight captured some calves put him on his ranch and just kind of let a herd run wild for 150 years. And then uh, at some point, I don't know, 10 years ago, the new owner told this Texas Parks and Wildlife that they could come capture the herd and move them to the Caprock State Park. It's 15,000 acres of canyon land and plains. So they got it pretty good here. We saw a herd last night with some calves in it and I kind of tried to stay back and this morning I was just shooting a time lapse and this bison comes up so I'm like all right cool he's hanging out I get my camera all I've got's a fixed 85 lens so I gotta like zoom with my feet and I'm walking up to him and I decide oh I'm gonna get in front of him so I get in front of him on the trail and I set the camera down and then he just starts sauntering towards me like, it's a beautiful day, he was alone, so he didn't have any women to worry about. It's not too hot yet, and he was in a good mood, but he's coming towards me, and I got a great shot of his head, and then I got scared. And like, the camera was rolling, he walked straight up to my camera, licked the side of the tripod, and then just kept going. But at some point, I'm standing there, and I'm like, starting to back up with the tripod. I'm like, okay, this dude's big. He's got horns. Like, something could go terribly wrong, even though he's in a good mood. I just, and animals kind of freak me out. I haven't been that scared since I ran into the mama bear and four cubs on the, the trail last year in Virginia. But we're back to shooting time lapses now. Welcome to Caprock Canyon State Park, home of the official Texas State Bison Herd. Many years ago, as the West was being settled, the homelands of the native Southern Plains bison came under threat. And noting the declining numbers of bison, Marianne Goodnight, wife of the legendary cattleman Charles Goodnight, urged her husband to round up a handful of bison to save the species from probable extinction. The park's herd descends directly from the Goodnight bison. These bison represent some of the last of the Southern Plains animals and one of the five foundation gene pool herds from which most of the current herds throughout the country were started. Later, Colonel Goodnight's bison herd grew and began to thrive. In 1996, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department accepted the donation of these majestic animals from the historic J.A. Ranch. In 1997 through 1998, the 32 remaining bison were captured and moved to the Caprock Canyon State Park and Trailway. The Texas State Bison Herd is unique because it was kept isolated from other bison gene pools. Therefore, these animals are among the last remaining members of the Southern Plains Bison Herd. Today, the herd has grown to around 100 head. Caprock Canyon State Park and Trailway will continue to preserve this unique herd that is now able to roam in its natural prairie ecosystem. The Goodnight Herd is now thriving in the Caprock Canyon State Park, and if precautions are taken, we can all have a safe, pleasant experience with one of the last remaining representations of the Old West. And on a less serious note, ever heard of someone saying, Hightail it? 
early settlers knew that if they saw a bison in an agitated state with its tail raised, it was time to get out of there. And some things never change. Just let them be, and they'll let you be. That little two minute reel with the voiceover is what's called show reel. And it's the select shots from what I got over a two day period. I put them all together because the person that I'm working for had a meeting with a potential donor for a project they're working on and they needed to show them something like what they could shoot and so I put that little thing together they went to the meeting and ended up getting funding so I feel like my job was done properly so I ran, I think I ran the drone into a rock this morning, like I landed it, it was flying all wonky, the camera was crooked, and then the filter was broken, and <laughs> I feel kind of stupid because there's been two crashes in here, in this video, and I recovered it. it, it still flies, after the first one it still flied fine, and there's two reasons that crashes really happen, one is that I'm not paying attention. I'm just going with a shot, even though it should have ended. I'm still flying, and I end up hitting something because I'm not paying attention. There's no like spatial awareness of where the drone's at. Or two, to get a really epic shot, you have to kind of fly through some gnarly stuff like cliffs and rocks, and you got to get really close to it. And it's super hard to know where it's at because you've got this tiny little camera frame in this big world and you can like you can bump into stuff when you when you're not just that you don't see and it's really hard to to climb up and get close enough so that you can actually see the drone composing a really epic shot i kind of want to make a whole video on this because one of the ways i learn is researching to to, to, to tell you guys what i figured out but essentially, you have something in the foreground, you move around it, and then there's a, a background that you want the attention to go to, and then the lighting has to be right. So like sunrise and sunset during magic hour, that's the best time to shoot something. I miss y'all. I miss vlogging. I miss like just hanging out and making random videos, but I've got you know seven cameras in the van at this point and trying to shoot one more thing and then edit that on top of the paid work that I'm doing is very difficult so I'm trying to post I love seeing you guys and I'm just cutting it down to really funny moments like buffalo licking tripods or running the drone into a tree and having to hire a bucket truck to come get it out uh. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all as soon as possible. And I hope you have a great day. Peace.